Good afternoon, dear listeners and participants of the conference. Let me introduce myself. My name is Maria Parahina and I'm a student of Donetsk National Medical University. Today I would like to tell you about a scientist who invented the Soviet version of penicillin and developed methods of fighting against cholera. The creation of penicillin was one of the greatest medical discoveries of the 20th century. It was the first broad-spectrum antibiotic that revolutionized the treatment of infectious diseases and became an instrument of mass medical care in the aftermath of Great Patriotic War, before when people with life-treating bacterial infections didn't survive but it would take the groundbreaking work of Zinaida Yamolyeva to enable the Soviet pharmacology labs to produce this life-saving drug during the war years. Let's talk about that in more detail. Born on October 27, 1897, and the dawn, on the farm of Loro, in the family of the Cossack foreman. Jan Zineida loved Tchaikovsky's music and was struck by the fact that he died of cholera. Therefore, the fight against this terrible disease became the work of her whole life. After graduations from the Mariinsky Women's Gymnasiums in Novochikansk with a gold medal, Jan Zineida entered the medical faculty of the Don University. The challenge and the difficulties were enormous. The honest truth it that her first teachers deeply in interested the young uh, students of microbiology, to which she devoted her entire life. Yumoliva really became one of the main specialists in the fight against cholera in our country. She conducted scientific work under the guidance of Professor Vladimir Barikian, specializing in the causative agents of cholera. In 1921, she graduated from the institute and was left at the Department of Microbiology as an assessment. In 1922, a cholera epidemic broke out on the town. Yamoliva managed to isolate cholera-like vibrators vib from tap water in order to understand whether they are capable to cause cholera. Zineda conducted a dangerous experiment. After neutralization of gastric juice with a soda, she took almost 2 billion cholera microbes. After 18 hours, she fell ill and almost died, thus it was established that some cholera-like vibrios in the human intestine can cause disease. Her research led to the rapid diagnosis of cholera and the establishment of resistance of cholera-like bacteria. Based on her experiment, recommendations for the chlorination of drinking water were developed, which are still used today. By 1939, when Himoleva was sent to fight the outbreak of cholera in Afghanistan, she managed to invent methods and repeat diagnosis of the disease and create a powerful drug. In 1942, she was sent to besiege Stalingrad, where a cholera epidemic began in German troops. In order to prevent uh, the spread of the disease among the resistance of the city and the Soviet military, Yamoliva launched production of bacteriophage, a virus that destroyed cholera bacteria. 50,000 people daily received this life-saving drug. She also carried out chlorination of wells and mass vaccinations. More than 30 years of life devoted Zinaida Vissarionovna to the study of antibiotics. The great number wanted in the first period of the Great Patriotic War required intensive development uh, and immediate use of highly effective drug to combat the infections. And she did it. So, in 1942, the first Soviet antibacterial drug called Crystazine appeared, and already in 1943 it was launched into mass production. The result was astounding. Hopeless patients survived and not a single amputated leg, as Yamoliva recalled herself. The creator of penicillin, Harvard Flory, who visited the USSR with the delegation in 1944, compared the two antibiotics. It turned out that crystazine was not only no worse than traditional penicillin, but actually more effective. Flory was so impressed uh, she nicknamed Imoliwa Mrs. Penicillin. 
To summarize, I would like to emphasize that Zinaida Yamolova was the first woman in our country to develop the Soviet antibiotic made a great contribution to the scientists. And she achieved it due to her pioneers technique wise. Thanks for her, we finally understood the importance of penicillin, the first antibiotic which allowed us to manufacture new and more effective drug derivations. Among them are streptomycin, tetracycline, interferon. The award Mrs. Penicillin recognized her extraordinary scientific skills. Thanks for listening.